Hi everyone, and uh, welcome back this is what I, to a quick video on how I edit my my YouTube videos on my channel. Um, you've probably seen some of them. Um, they create quite good output from this particular application, and I do a lot of editing because um, of the nature of my videos. So the application I'm using, I'll, I'll get straight into it here, is called uh, Film Forth. Very very good application, highly endorse it. Um, just been recently using it, um, but it's um, very, very good. I've redone some of my videos in it. It's available for free from the Microsoft Store, runs on Windows 10, probably runs on Windows 11, but I don't use 11 yet. So I'll just get straight into it and show you how I edit my videos. So what I've done here, I've got a, um, I've, I've got a video mock-up in the screen here. You can see it running now, which is just my desktop. And I'll be using this to edit to the basic functions of Forth. So, first thing to note is the timeline layout. So the main video goes in the top here, and the controls that you need to get used to are the back arrow here on the bottom left, and the save video down here on the bottom right. Um, they're the two, and, it, and each one presents a different ribbon down here, control ribbon in the bottom. Very easy to use really really good layout so I've got the video here um, normal controls um, play you know fast forward through those sort of things but um, down here on the left we've got the main controls I use so we can add music picture text or caption so I'll show you how that works so once the video is loaded in the timeline you've got these additional timelines that are vacant underneath so we'll just go music and you can see down here the you notice how the control ribbon changed. I'll just go back and show you again. So we click music and the control ribbon changed. Um, quite easily we need to do, add audio. You just uh, select the add audio. You can do a voiceover on this and add audio, your own WAV files or music files, or you can use built-in music, which there's a few here that um, come built in. This floating one, you know, there's, there's a whole heap of different different ones there, uh, sound effects as well that are built in, like, you know, an ape screaming, um, that sort of stuff, um, and it's, it's very easy to add in. Um, so once you've added it in, you basically just go to the back arrow and it'll sit there under the timeline. You can see how the controls aren't available here on the left now, because we need to click back. That's how it works. Um, so that's music. You can add music in here, and like I just said, go for that or the second one which is really easy is adding in um, additional pictures um, very easy to do again just select the picture one and add pick in again we can do built-in gifts or stickers uh, built-in stickers or, or add your own video um, clip to it you can also add a picture in picture you can have the classic sort of um, picture of yourself talking down the bottom of the screen if you want to do that or use any of the built-in stickers here. So we'll just grab this donut. You can see the donuts on the screen. Like this, really easy to move around. And we click back, and you can see the yellow tab here is the donut. We click back, and if we click play on the video, donut appears, and then it goes. So it's really easy to add those sorts of features into your video. You can also expand out the uh, length of which it runs. Again, I'll show you that. And you can see how we've got the border box around this. To get that done, you just basically snap it into frame. And there we have it coming up like that. And you'll see soon that the donut will disappear. So that's how that works, really nice and easy. Text is easy too. Um, you can add text by clicking the, 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 uh, the font icon or the text icon. Add text in here and um, double click the frame icon and we can put our test text in we can't see it because it's white so let's make it black like that or we can go alignment speech balloon add in the speech balloon like this move it around uh, we can add it in move it around like so even expand it out like that um, edit the text again we can put in additional text like that or change the speech bubble things like that so very easy to do. Again, just playing that out on my test video here. Show you how that works. 
and it disappears. So again, the controls are gone and I come back and the last one here is um, batch subtitling, which you can do, um, add to the current frame, put in the text, this is a test like that and um, we can add that in as a preset like this as well this is it here just move it up it's in yellow change it in make it bigger you can put it anywhere on the screen move it around as you choose like this and it works really really well um, nice and easy to edit the videos in go back and click play again on this and you can see that we're running through that on on the screen um, the other the other really cool feature with this is uh, splitting videos. So let's just say I want to cut out this first uh, calculator coming up. Again, move the uh, slider to that that part of the video. Um, we go split, and you can see it nicely splits the video. We press play and go to the end where that disappears like that, and then highlight the frame again, split, and you can see how there's a white line uh, surrounding the one area that we split just simply go down here delete and it's gone so we can go back to here press play and you can see that that part of the video is now edited out we can move it ahead I've got a timer running here like this at the moment we can edit that out again I'll show you that again split play stop it there select the frame, split, delete, and that part of the video is gone now too. Just play that through. Really, really nice way of doing this uh, editing. Works really, really, really well. And you can see, if you go back, you can see on your timeline, we've got the donuts there, we've got some text there, and we've got these markers, the transition markers in here. You can click that too, brings up some really nice transitions. Uh, we'll just do the classic blur, click that, and now if we go back, you'll see the blur happening here. Really nice way of doing that um, as well. Um, the other really good feature here as well is if we, if you've got audio on your video that you don't want, you can just select the <clears throat> video in the timeline, detach audio, and you've seen that the audio comes down here now. So we can either um, select that and delete it, or one really cool feature is if you add audio in, you can change uh, the speed of the audio or even the volume like this. You can make it like just like 25% volume, fade in or fade out effects like that as well. Go back and you can see now here it's got 25% and um, that's a really nice way of adding in music or soft music underneath your video, uh, things like that. So, you know, we can play that out. Again, you'll see the transition come in and uh, work through. Um, I'll just show you here too, you can select that, like I said, delete. Now we've got absolutely no audio at all, so you can add in an underlying music theme there to that. Another really good feature I want to show you here is the, um, the rotation here. So we can select the frame we want. So in this case, say this one here, rotate. You can actually rotate the frame within picture. And have that upside down. So if we go back to here, we hit, click play, you can see the transition coming in and then it's rotated like that. Um, we can make that even rotate all the way around, flip it as well. So you can do some really, really cool things in here, such as motion. Uh, you, can, you can change the, the ratio of the motion and, and reset it, things like that. I don't really use that one. Uh, very much. Good one is the speed as well. If you want to make it, put in those classic sort of um, uh, fast motion, so you can see how it's running quicker there in frame. We can pause that, and you can see it better if we rotate it around. I'll do that one again, uh, like that. Works really, really well. It's upside down, so we go back, go play, and you can see that it's going to run at fast speed. Um, through here as well so you can even you don't even really need to edit fast video you can you can speed it up within this application we go back we can see we've got the timeline you can expand the timeline out here on the frame to see differences uh, 
the classic uh, back out. You can back out here as well. It does the Control Z back out, and uh, you're up and you're up and running. So um, this is this is Film Forth. Very very good application again. Available from the Microsoft Store. I use it extensively for my videos, and I um, hope that walk through sort of shows you a little bit about what I do uh, when I create my videos. Works very very well. At the very end here, you just go save video, uh, take out the export with watermark. You get this uh, follow on social media sort of prompt, which is which is uh, fair enough. Then you click save, and it will export the video out at that resolution. Very very good quality. So hopefully that's helped you out. Uh, a little bit of insight as to how I create my videos. And uh, we'll see you on the next tech walkthrough.